Doing division of complex numbers is similar to simplifying radical expressions. Keep watching and you'll see what I mean. Welcome to Math Bites. I'm Allison. And today, we're talking about division of complex numbers. Now, if you'll remember when working with radical expressions, something like this is not considered in simplest form because there's a radical in the denominator. Similarly, when working with complex numbers, if we have the imaginary unit i in the denominator, it's not considered in simplest form. So something like this, 2 over i, where i is equal to the square root of negative 1, is not considered simplified. We can simplify it by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by i. So we have 2 over i is equal to 2 over i times i over i. i over i is just equal to 1. And if we multiply through, we get 2i over i squared, which is equal to 2i over negative 1, or negative 2i. Now we've eliminated the imaginary unit in the denominator. Let's do another example. We have 4 plus 7i over 3i. Now same thing here, we're going to get rid of that i in the denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by i. So we get 4 plus 7i over 3i times i over i. And we'll distribute through, and we get 4i plus 7i squared all over 3i squared. Then we get 4i plus 7 times negative 1 over 3 times negative 1. Remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. And that gives us 4i plus negative 7 over negative 3. Rearranging, I get negative 7 plus 4i over negative 3. That's equal to negative 7 over negative 3 plus 4i over negative 3. And that becomes 7 thirds minus 4 thirds i. So you see, once again, we have gotten rid of that i in the denominator to get our answer. Now what if we have something a little bit more complicated, something that looks like this? 3 minus 2i over 5 plus i. What do we do then? We're going to use the concept of complex conjugates. So take a look at this. a plus bi and a minus bi are complex conjugates of one another. What happens when we multiply them together? So we have quantity a plus bi times quantity a minus bi. And we're just going to use the FOIL method to multiply them together, first, outer, inner, and last. So we get a squared minus abi plus abi minus b squared times i squared. Now you'll notice those middle terms, minus abi and plus abi, cancel each other out. So we're left with a squared minus b squared times i squared. That's equal to a squared minus b squared times negative 1, which is equal to a squared minus negative b squared, or a squared plus b squared. So when we multiply a complex number by its conjugate, we effectively eliminate the imaginary parts. Okay, let's go back to this. 3 minus 2i over 5 plus i. And let's use this idea of complex conjugates. What is the complex conjugate of our denominator? Our denominator is 5 plus i. So its conjugate is 5 minus i. So we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by 5 minus i. So here we go. We have 3 minus 2i over 5 plus i times 5 minus i over 5 minus i. Now we're just going to do FOIL across the top and FOIL across the bottom. So here we go. On the top, we get 15 minus 3i minus 10i plus 2i squared. And on the bottom, we get 25 minus 5i plus 5i minus i squared. On the top, we have 15 minus 13i plus 2 times negative 1. And on the bottom, we have 25 minus negative 1. Remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. And in our denominator, those 5i terms have just canceled out. So simplifying further, we get on the top 13 minus 13i. And on the bottom, we get 26. 25 minus negative 1 is like 25 plus 1, which is 26. That gives us 13 over 26 minus 13 over 26i, or 1 half minus 1 half i. So by multiplying our numerator and denominator 
by the complex conjugate of the denominator, we have been able to arrive at our answer. Let's do another example. We have 2 plus 3i over 4 minus 3i. Same thing, we're going to use our complex conjugate. What is the complex conjugate of the denominator? Our denominator is 4 minus 3i, so its conjugate is 4 plus 3i. So we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by 4 plus 3i. So we get 2 plus 3i over 4 minus 3i times 4 plus 3i over 4 plus 3i. Multiplying through on the top, we get 8 plus 6i plus 12i plus 9i squared. And on the bottom, we get 16 plus 12i minus 12i minus 9i squared. On the top, we have 8 plus 18i plus 9 times negative 1. Remember, i squared is negative 1. And on the bottom, we have 16 minus 9 times negative 1. Our 12i terms have again canceled out. That's the whole idea. So on the top, we get negative 1 plus 18i because we have 8 plus negative 9, so negative 1 plus 18i. And on the bottom, we get 25. 16 plus 9 is 25. And that gives us negative 1 over 25 plus 18 over 25 times i. Now, if it seems to you that we have been simplifying rather than doing division, just doing things to get that i out of the denominator, let me leave you with this. In one of our problems, we saw that 3 minus 2i over 5 plus i is equal to 1 half minus 1 half i. Now, that implies that 5 plus i times 1 half minus 1 half i is equal to 3 minus 2i. Do that multiplication and prove to yourself that that statement is true. Then you'll see we've actually been doing division all along. That's it for this episode of Math Bites. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if there's something you'd like to ask us, just send us an email. We're at contactmathbites at gmail.com. And we'll see you next time.